You would. Hooray, Tom. There we go. That's potential. Oh, it's working. Stupid stuff. Still a stupid yellow oil. Welcome back everyone, so in this video we're going to be trying to synthesize sulfur tetranitride, which is Tom's arch nemesis. Now I didn't record every bit of footage for this, and frankly I'm not going to include it either, there are some parts I left out because they're not that important. But pretty much what I did was, I took the sulfur chloride we synthesized in the previous video, and I put it in dichloromethane, anhydrous dichloromethane. Though I didn't dry it though, I put it straight out of the bottle, but it seems to be dry enough. And it's supposed to be dichloride for this, so I tried passing chlorine gas through this dry chlorine, but it didn't do much, so I just let it do its thing, and I started adding in um, anhydrous ammonia gas, which I generated by heating concentrated ammonia, which I'll show you how to synthesize in a future video, um, through a reflux condenser through sodium hydroxide to dry it, and then I fed it into the reaction mixture. And uh, I'm going off the original German paper. I think it's German or it's British. I don't know. Either I'll go. I was going off the original paper, but it, it, due to sheer scale, I scaled it down so much it just didn't work. I ended up getting a tar and it ended up hydrolyzing because I tried to wash it with water according to the paper, but it, it's just not on a large enough scale to work properly. Now I did get something. I did get ammonium chloride. So. I likely did form s some tetrasulfur tetranitride, but I messed it up during the isolation. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, what happened. Now, you can see we are getting a color, and that's about what I expected. I never got the pink color, though, which is very interesting. The reaction also finished relatively quickly, so that indicated that, um, of course, it scaled down a lot more. Like, that's a 250 mil flask there. It's not even halfway. It's probably around one fourth of what Tom did. And also, due to that, um, I, I, yeah, you can see here I'm trying to add more dichloromethane in because it, it started to evaporate off. It'll start to boil. So, I, yeah, if I reattempt this, so I'm going to chill in an ice bath to keep the reaction cold, though not too cold, because if I cool it too cold, there's a possible chance of nitrogen trichloride formation, which, as you know, is not a fun chemical. So, yeah. But you can see we got this tar-colored substance in the end, and it smelled absolutely horrible. It smelled like ammonia and sulfur. And not like sulfur sulfur, but like organosulfur, because sulfur likes to do weird things. Now, I, I tried to wait until I got a yellow-colored smoke, but it never turned yellow. It was always just white ammonium chloride. But you can see in the flats there, we do have a colored tar precipitate. Now, what I did end up doing to determine the endpoint is put pH paper over the condenser, and you can see it's blue, which means the ammonia is no longer being absorbed into the reaction, so I considered it done then. And then I tried to filter this mixture off, and... Um, it's, I got like a weird solid and I tried to um, wash it with water and here I smelled it. That smells absolutely horrible. But yeah, I, I filtered it off, I washed it, I got this substance and I tried to isolate it from this tar because um, unlike Tom, I, I used dichloromethane, I didn't use a toluene solvent so that was fine but I could not, considering that it is soluble in toluene, like he found out, like Tom found out, I tried to extract a toluene, but I didn't get anything, so, unfortunately, yeah, this reaction failed, I ended up getting a sulfur tar. I, I guess that's what I get for doing this on a smaller scale and still using water to wash it. You can see here, I was trying to leach it out of the water wash using toluene, but it's just all sulfur, it's all yellow. Yellow chemistry is bad, it failed because it went yellow. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be re this in a future video. See ya.